Welcome back, Wuthering Waves fans. It is Eli here with your Wuwa Wednesday. Now, I have to apologize. I've been missing for two weeks, but I'm back. Now, let me let me explain myself. I, I, I come I come with an explanation. So originally I said that I was taking a one week break from Wuwa Wednesday as I was going on vacation and I wouldn't be obviously be able to make a video because I was away. Uh, but when I came back from vacation, it was the Monday night and it was like 10 p.m. And I usually use Wednesday, no, Tuesdays. I usually use Tuesdays to do the Wuwa Wednesday videos. And I underestimated how tired I was going to be on the Tuesday. Like, wow, Eli, you were tired after 12 hours of traveling. Who would have thought? Anyway, alas, I am back and I am here. I'm here to deliver you the lore of Encore. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. <laughs> so, today we're diving into the heartwarming and adventure story of the biggest fluffball character in the game, Encore. So, prepare to explore the Lack Shores with her and discover the magic she brings to every journey. From her touching past to her brave present, we'll delve into everything that makes Encore a unique and cherished character. So let's start with her first story, Let's Be Friends. At Intimacy Level 1, we unlock Let's Be Friends. Encore's motto revolves around being there for her friends. Need help or have questions, call her name and she'll be right there. Encore's infectious enthusiasm makes her an excellent companion. Don't let the eerie beauty of Blake Bloom and the unique horror culture of the Black Shore scare you. Little Encore by your side, doubts will vanish with her warm and enthusiastic greetings. Encore is passionate, c confident, and genuine. She'll make your journey anything but dull. Immerse yourself in those intimate moments with Encore's willies. And watch out for Cosmos, it tends to get a little too excited sometimes. But don't worry, no scratch will mar your beautiful face. Encore's presence is a constant source of joy and positivity, ensuring every adventure is filled with laughter and warmth. Encore loves to tell stories and share gifts with any visitors that she encounters. While some of her gifts may be questionable, they are always given with good intentions. At Intimacy Level 2, we unlock Kid from a Theatre. Encore's earliest memories of Cosmos and Cloudy trace back to a lively theatre. Amidst enthusiastic applause and the cheers of children, Encore's mother portrayed the Black Woolly Knight, a brave protector reminiscent from her mother's care. When Encore would act up, she saw the same fake expression on her mother as she did with the Woolly Knight. The theatre was a place of magic and wonder for Encore, filled with unforgettable moments that shaped her childhood. As a child, Encore preferred Cloudy over Cosmos, but she did not share this detail with Cosmos as to not hurt its feelings. In Encore's eyes, Cloudy represented a gentle princess with a kind heart, elegant dresses, and a majestic crown. The young Encore aspired to be a princess. Longing for elegant dresses, a magic crown, and a scrumptious bed to rest on. This may suggest that Encore didn't have much growing up. However, it could just be a childlike dream of wanting to be a princess, a common thing that little kids want to be. It is also important to note that Gospels and Cloudy only speak to Encore after nightfall, suggesting that they are just two mere plushies that Encore sees as her real-life little friends. A heroine's return unlocks at Intimacy Level 3. Cosmos and Cloudy first spoke to Encore at her mother's funeral. Amidst the mournful atmosphere, the plushies' voices urge Encore to leave, leading her to the abandoned theatre. This poignant moment marked a turning point in Encore's life, as she faced grief and found strength in her woolly friends. Cosmos and Cloudy are the only reminders Encore has of her mother. They originally belonged to her. In the theatre, Encore saw a vision of her mother standing strong again. She faced her fears and Cosmos and Cloudy helped her to step up onto the stage as the new leading role that her mother, mother once played. Overwhelmed with emotion, Encore vowed to play the brave Woolly Knight, ensuring her story would have a happy ending. The theatre became a sanctuary where she could find solace and courage, a constant reminder of her mother transforming her pain into a powerful performance. At Intimacy Level 4, we unlock Orphanage and the Candy House. Encore, now a great consultant, still cherishes her little bedtime stories. 
As to her, growing up means bidding farewell to all the colour and vibrancy in her life and stepping into the darkness of adulthood, the darkness that she may associate with her mother's death. On a particular evening, Cloudy and Cosmos took turns telling the story of the candy house. In her dream, Encore returned to the orphanage, facing a giant cat in a fiery blaze. She transformed the once terrifying creature into a tiny kitten through her warmth and lullaby, ensuring everyone lived happily without fear. Encore's dreams often revisit her past, blending reality with fantasy. Her ability to bring comfort and healing to others is a testament to her enduring spirit. The Candy House story symbolizes Encore's resilience and her unwavering belief in the power of love and kindness. Finally, at Intimacy Level 5, we unlock a new story, a new adventure. Encore's initial encounter with Alto, a mysterious but kind grown-up, marks the beginning of a new adventure. Despite her playful teasing, Encore agrees to join him on his mission. The promise of Candy's and adventures convinces Encore and her woolly friends Cosmos and Cloudy to tag along with him. Encore's first impression of Alto was mixed. A weird but fun grown-up wearing sunglasses indoors. After some playful teasing, she decides to join him on his mission. The promise of Candy's and adventure is enough to convince Encore to, to come along with him. Together they embark on a journey filled with excitement, challenges, and the promise of new stories. Encore's journey with Alto is more than just an adventure, it's a quest to save the world. Along the way, they'll face numerous challenges and uncover hidden truths. With Encore's boundless enthusiasm and Alto's experience, they form an unstoppable team. Encore's story is a testament to her bravery, friendship, and the magic of believing in yourself and your friends. Whether she's fighting tacit discords or sharing heartfelt moments, Encore makes every adventure unforgettable. Her journey is filled with lessons about love, loss, and cherishing the bonds that we share with others. Encore's relationships with her woolly friends, Cosmos and Cloudy, are at the heart of her story. These plushies are more than just toys to her. They are her confidants, protectors, and her companions. Together, they face the world's challenges, offering each other comfort and strength. So, there you go. That is the lore of Encore. I hope that you guys enjoy and please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and please comment down below what character you want me to do next. I will probably do the same method that I did for this video which is getting Chris to upload a poll of four characters that you want. I'm thinking that we may choose the three characters that you guys didn't pick from the last poll and then throw another character in there just so I can get through kind of a little list um and that might work a little bit better so we're gonna have the three characters that we put up last week i cannot remember them off the top of my head i know donjon was in there and john Wu, um and there was two others one of them was encore which you chose and then there was one more and i i can't remember who that name was but the that's who we're going to be putting up there this week we're gonna throw in one new name into the hat and it's up to you guys from there who you want to see next so Thank you guys very much for joining me and apologies once again for um, a little gap in the weeks. This is this is life. This is how things happen. But I will be back again next week. I, I promise I will be back again next week with some more Wuba Wednesday lore content for you. Um, and yeah, my final little thing that I want to say before I go because this video is kind of pushing on. I really want to give a shout out once again to the Wuthering Waves Wiki who were my prime source of information for these videos. Uh, I find them really good for just putting all the information that you need to know about the characters in one little space. It makes it so easy for me to just read through the intimacy levels and then create the scripts from there and make sure that I don't leave out any information for you guys. But if I I did leave out any information that you think is pretty important to Encore's character. Hit me up, let me know, and I will be more than happy to get back to you on that. And I will really appreciate your feedback. So, yeah, that this has been Eli, and this has been your Wuwa Wednesday. And I will speak to you all again next time. <laughs>